Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video lesson, I am going to explain what is a press, what is a press tool, what is stamping and few important aspects of the press machine. Let's get started. Remember, in the previous video lesson, I had explained about the manufacturing process for the power screw support bracket. The manufacturing process for the power screw support bracket was done in three steps. Step 1. Processing the raw material. Step 2. Perform the piercing and the blanking operation. Step 3. Perform the bending operation. To perform the piercing, blanking and the bending operation, we need certain amount of force. This force is provided by a press machine. To summarize, a press is a machine which provides the necessary force to cut or form the sheet metal workpiece. A press tool is a tool used to cut or form the sheet metal workpiece. A press tool is also commonly referred to as stamping die. Press tools are mounted on the press machine. Stamping Stamping is a part or a component manufactured using the stamping die. Right from a simple washer to the complicated body parts of the car like the bonnet, the fender, the roof, the door are manufactured using a stamping die. The manufacturing industry uses a wide variety of presses. But for the application of press tools or stamping dies, the manufacturing industry usually uses a mechanical press or an hydraulic press. Mechanical press. The energy stored in the flywheel is transferred to the sheet metal component using a mechanical drive mechanism. Whereas in the hydraulic press, hydraulic cylinders are used to generate the force or the energy. Now let me explain few important aspects of the press machine. Like the bolster plate, the press slide, the stroke, the TDC and the BDC and the shut height. A bolster plate is a plate that is mounted on the press bit. Bolster plate will have provisions like the T-slot to mount the press tool. The bottom assembly of the press tool is mounted on the bolster plate. As you are already aware, the reciprocating part, the part which moves up and down is called the press ram or the press slide. The top assembly of the press tool is mounted on the press slide. The press slide keeps reciprocating from top to bottom. One such movement from top to bottom is referred to as stroke. As the press slide keeps reciprocating from top to bottom, the topmost position of the press slide is referred to as TDC or the top dead center. The bottommost position of the press slide is referred to as the BDC or the bottom dead center. The distance between the top surface of the bolster plate to the bottom surface of the press slide when the press slide is at the bottom dead center position is called the shut height. The press tools should always be designed for this shut height. So the design height of the press tool is always equal to the shut height of the press. That's all in this video lesson. If you have any questions, please ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment about your questions. Thanks.